Hello Pisces, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. We have here full moon in Sagittarius, so Sagittarius might be relevant here. See the bigger picture. Now this is about looking at things from a different perspective. It can be about understanding we're going through ch challenges because they're lessons. It can also be looking at things in a way to resolve issues. So there's more than one way of dealing with a situation, more than one way of seeing something here. And we have Rose Quartz, a nice easy one for me to, to pronounce, Rose Quartz. Love life, love life, that's what we should be doing here. New or renewed romantic love is here for you. Now it could be romantic love, it's not going to be romantic romance for everyone, this is not a romance reading, that's a Saturday. This is about you loving life. It could be romance or you loving life. Right. If this starts to resonate with you, Therese, please like, share and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. I'm not going to take these cards because they don't want to be taken. Spirit, please show me the spiritual guidance for this message. The Eight of Wands. The Six of Pentacles. The Moon card. The Nine of Cups. The overall central energy for the reading is the Ace of Pentacles. The Judgment card. The beautiful Temperance card. Sagittarius energy. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. The Ten of Cups. And the Four of Pentacles. Now what we've got here is we've got a feeling of feeling stuck. We're holding on to something here that we need to let go. We're not seeing the bigger picture here. We're not seeing the bigger picture. So what we're doing here is we're looking at the situation as very black and white. We need to look in between. You know, we need to look for some colour in this situation. If you're doing things the same way, uh, using the same methods all the time, you'll end up with the same results. And I get this feeling here that we need to look at things from a different perspective. From the point of view of expansion and growth. So if we want to make money, we've got to spend money. We've got to, you know, speculate to accumulate, if you like, is what I'm trying to say here. Now, you might have a certain amount of security where you are. You might have uh, it's built security, whether it be a relationship, long term job. You might have saved up a lot of money now. And what do I do with it? We might want to spend it. And that moves you on from the stuck feeling. So, you know, we need to look at a situation here more clearly. We maybe can't see the way forward at the moment, but you're certainly going to have to make a decision here. If you look at things from a different perspective, your intuition will guide you. Now, although we've got a certain amount of security here, we might not be enjoying things. Remember, we've got to love life. You might be secure as a single person because this is referring to romance, but, you know, there might be something missing. It could be romance. Do you see what I mean? So look at things from a different perspective because there's more growth could come into your life here if you were to release something or look at something just that wee bit differently. Because what Spirit is trying to do here is they're trying to get you to make a judgment call. Now, this is important because this judgment call is what's going to release you from whatever you're stuck in. Now, it could be to do with uh, your job. It could be to do with finances, like I said earlier. Uh, it could be to do with your home, your environment, your relationships. So because spirit is wanting you to have a brand new opportunity. You could be doing other things now. You've, you've created so much security for yourself. You're feeling OK. You know, but you're looking at things very black and white now. For growth to come into your life, you're going to have to consider other options. Now, this could be new contracts. It could be uh, purchases of any kind. Like I said earlier, you could be investing money in a new property. You could be buying a new car that you'd benefit from that would make you happy. I'm just giving you examples here. You could be looking at new jobs, developing our skills, anything like that that's going to bring. See, if we do that, we could end up with better paid jobs. We could end up with promotion, all this type of thing. So new opportunities here for growth, definitely, when it comes to work, finances, relationships or environments. And this judgment call is something that will leash you. And you sometimes see the people rising out the little coffins, and this is a new lease of life. It will bring a new lease of life to you, new enjoyment. It could be a relationship. It doesn't have to be. But when you consider these new options, you're going to be well supported because the good news is going to come in. You're going to achieve your goal. You're going to move forward. You've got the skills here and the abilities to do this. 
So start to think about, you know, what you want to invest in. If you want to develop your skills here, if you want to get promotion, if you want to invest your money into something, if there's a certain place you want to live, because you could be moving town, uh, moving jobs, moving country if it comes to that. But the emails and the texts will come forward to support any judgment call that you make. The universe is behind you on this. So this could be your dream holiday. You might have saved up enough money now for your dream holiday. So you might want to decide, you know, I'm going to go on that. It could be something you've always wanted to go to do or a place you want to go. And what you're going to do there is you're going to create beautiful things in your life. You're going to be rewarded. You're going to move on from what you're holding on to too tightly here. And things will balance out for you. Now, this is a reward card because spirits remind, reminding you here what you put into things you get out. This is the Libra and scales here. So like I said, we have to invest ourselves into things to get growth for them to come back. So, for example, if you want to grow your finances or you want to attract more money in, you could give some to charity, make a charitable donation. And that moves the energies. This is give and take type energy here. Give and take type energy. So you will be rewarded for any efforts you make, any opportunities you take up. There's going to be a bit of better will balance. It could be enjoying your job more. You could be around the people that you enjoy more. There could be a better work-life balance coming in through new opportunities in that sense. You could be educating yourself or, you know, uh, earning more money. Um, but definitely increases improvements of any kind. And the universe does reward you for any for being in the Six of Pentacles energy. Now, you're going to create beautiful things in your life. It's time to look at things that you come out your box. It's almost like coming out your comfort zone here. And you're going to create beautiful things. Uh, I mean, and you might be a bit frustrated and not sure which way to go, but everything's going to work out. This is patience. It's a major arcana card and it involves patience. So you have to be patient uh, with this journey you're going on but the rewards are going to be beautiful. You're going to be very content and happy with the outcome here. You're going to feel more at home with things. You're going to enjoy your environments, like I said. You're going to have a good financial situation here. Well-balanced finances, nice environments to work in, uh, enjoying your new home, whatever this may be for you. You could be purchasing a car, for example, and you're going to be very happy with that. So you're loving life. You're loving life. You're content with things. You're happy. And the outcome is splendid. And there's lots of blessings, like I said here. Blessings after challenges. Blessings at the end of this rainbow for you and the efforts that you're making. So I know it might you might be sitting, you know, pretty comfortable here. You might even be feeling a bit stuck and mundane. But if you look at the bigger picture here and you start to consider your options and what you're wanting to invest in here to bring this new opportunity and look at new options here because there's lots of benefits could come from you for you or your family or your soul tribe and there's contentment for everybody you're going from the nine to the ten so rewards again rewards uh, blessings at the end of that rainbow but rewards after challenges achievement achievement Take a little time to reflect on what you have achieved to date. It is often easy to forget where you started from and how far you've come. Honour and be grateful for this extraordinary journey that is your life. You're not, your life's not over. You've achieved things up till now and you can go on and achieve more. Divine intervention. Divine intervention. You may feel frustrated because something stalls or comes to a standstill. Now, you might feel a bit stuck here. Progress seems painfully slow, yet this is a blessing. It is divine intervention at work. When the timing is in perfect harmony, all will come to fruition. All will come to fruition. So don't be frightened here. I know you might not see it, you might feel stuck, but if you look at your achievements and understand that you can achieve more, then this is the divine intervention. Spirit's trying to get you to make that judgment call. They will support you. Okay, I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.